Okay, welcome everyone to another Chaos Africa meeting. Um, if you are here for the uh, science working group meeting, we have another link. Um, and uh, I think Elizabeth is here to drop the link in the chat um, in case you're here for that because we are having a clash, unfortunately, due to the daylight savings time. So, um, yeah, if you're here for that meeting, this is the correct Zoom link that I just dropped in the chat. But if you're here for the Chaos Africa meeting, please stay back. Um, <laughs> Let me share my screen very quickly and drop the meeting notes as well. Um, yeah. So this is the meeting notes and I'm the facilitator for today. I have missed everyone by the way. It's been like I've been away for a long time. Mm, I have been traveling. Let me share my screen. Okay. Yeah, so please drop your name in the notes and tell us what internet provider you use. <laughs> I have multiple of them like this last week has been so chaotic I think a lot of like African countries were affected I don't know if we have anybody here in other countries that was not affected or well, it's been a mess even today I've been battling with internet So yeah, just let us know. <laughs> Somebody said MTN degrades. Is that is that a a joke? <laughs> MTN has been the yeah, Brian has the internet. Like did Safari come? Did it get affected as well? Since you're in Kenya, maybe our Kenyan brothers did not not get affected it's feeling like it was a West African thing Brian can you hear me so yeah let's you know what internet you use um and then we can kick the meeting we can get started um I don't know if there are any new contributors or newcomers here that have not had the chance to introduce themselves. Uh, let me see. Let me just go through the list. Ariane, I don't know. Have you introduced yourself in this meeting? Ariane, maybe that doesn't know where you're joining from. I see more as well. Feel free to say hi. Hi, Mo. Have you had a chance to introduce yourself? A lot of people use MTN here. Wow. Hi, good day. I, yes. I was in a meeting last week, I think. Oh, I don't know if it's a different meeting. Oh, sorry. I wasn't here last week, so that's maybe that's why I, I can't recognize you, but welcome. Okay, but just to confirm, the, the Chaos Africa community meeting is different from the devs meeting. Is yeah, it? so it's more, more of like yeah, it's more of like a subgroup meeting. This is like the main um Chaos Africa community meeting, and those other ones are subgroup meetings. Oh, okay. okay. I was in the devs meeting last week. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you want to introduce yourself? Okay. And what you do. Um, hi everyone. My name is Anya Mo for more for short. I'm a front-end developer. I do React and React Native. I am new to open source and I'm just, you know, hoping to get started here and make very lovely contributions. Nice. Where are you based in or Nigeria? Like where in Lagos? Abuja. Abuja. Okay. Abuja. We, have, we have a couple. We are, I think we are, we are growing our Abuja community. Um, yeah, so yeah, great. Nice to meet you, Mo. Um, I don't know, Ariane, do you want to introduce yourself or have you had the time to? You can also use the chat as well. Oh, hi, everyone. Hello. I'm Ariane from Cameroon. Oh, I'm a yeah. junior machine learning engineer, influencer. Mm, I joined the community by 
Ruth's invitation. So <laughs> it is nice to meet you all. And I'm excited. I'm yeah. waiting for more coming. Welcome again, Ariane. And it's nice to have you here. They met Ariane at uh, Zanzibar. Um, Jago Kona Africa last year, so it's nice to have you here. Thank you for joining us. Um, Thank okay, you. I think um we can get started for the people that use MTN. I see that a lot of people are going through going through it, so more more grace to your elbows. Um, okay, so um, there's a bit of updates. So for the people that we kind of change the process for the chaos calendar um to usually you just go and subscribe to it through the um sites but we're using team up i really don't know how to explain how this works but you can click on this thing like to find all the different chaos africa meetings to so subscribe to them individually or you want to add everything to your calendar you can click on this link and hope i explain this properly okay yeah, you can choose which ones you want. So I think you can toggle on which ones you want to add to your calendar. Like, for example, the, oh my, okay, yeah, the Chaos Africa meeting. You can copy, I think, how do you even add this to your calendar? Oh my God, I'm missing it. I know I just, uh, it is like putting like the description. I'm just going to forward that but you can copy the link there's where you can copy the link and add it to your calendar on like your google calendar apple calendar so oh. either of them um so so you don't get to miss the meetings because i know that most of the time uh, one of the issues we have is people do not have the meetings on their um calendar so it's very easy to miss the meetings Oh, did I just open the science? This is the one I was supposed to open. Chaos Africa. Sorry, where is it? Um, for some reason, okay. Yeah, this is it. The one you add. But if you want to add the like every other meeting, you can add that as well. Pick the other meetings you want to add. So just this the update so that you get to be reminded of the meetings. Um, I don't know if there are any questions or. Any feedback here? Okay, no questions. If you have any questions, do drop it in the chat or ask um on the channel. So um Kinsley, I think Kinsley is here. Um I wanted to get like an update on like what's been going on with the design um focus group and I know there was a request one time that I made for that because we have two new chapters uh, chaos latam and um, latam chapter and um, chaos balkans in Europe so I don't know if that that has been worked on and generally to what's going on with the design group um, and also on the AFOS project as well what's also going on there Maybe Kinsley. I think I saw him in the meeting. If MTN allows you to speak. Yeah. Hi, can hi, you hear me? Just before you go, hi Bill. Um, if you're here for the um chaos um science working group meeting, I will drop the link. So we are having a clash um uh, in the meeting and um we have a different link for the science working group. So I'll drop the link on the chat and then you can join that if that's the meeting you're here for. <laughs> Yeah, Kingsley can go ahead. I think you're trying to say something. Feel free to go ahead. I'm trying to drop the 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 science group meeting for Bill so that 
है कहीं हो गई है मेरी यस वेलकम ओके सो गुड आफ्टरनून गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन सो फर्स्ट अबाउट द योर चैप्टर लोगोस I think um mm -hmm. like you said my network is a bit lagging so I don't know if I'll be able to share my screen but um I know I tagged you Ruth to if you check the thread where you asked you made that request on um uh, on Slack um if I can share it yeah, I'm going to share it after the call yeah, I can so share your yeah so on one uh, it's actually not on like uh, I don't know if you use our what space for that But this guy, I'm not sure he's on the call. Owana um worked on worked on a design. Maybe we can discuss it in detail about that. But if you check, I think if you check the, the thread on Slack, you see where you made that mm -hmm. request. I'm trying to pull it up, but maybe much later. I didn't expect to talk about it in minutes. So he met he met a couple of designs. So I just wanted to also get your thoughts on it. You now, so that okay. has been worked on, but of course, um, pending you know approval. Okay. And um, so for, I think another project I want to talk about. I don't know how many designers I hear. Um, is the, at not um Ogo project. Okay, so how you started? This is interesting to see some designers in Abuja. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go project. Let me see if I can share my screen. Um, okay, that's so, interesting. So, so, so that has already started. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually being led by... Um, can I share my screen? Can we yeah, share yeah, simultaneously? Yeah. yeah, just let me stop sharing. Then. Okay. Are you able to share? Yeah. Can you see my screen? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um so if you recall, I think um yeah, like I said. Just the same way we have um this person um um midi right spearheading the Alphos project that I haven't really seen recently. So um Lamy is the one right leading this um overall project, and I think um the design style is sort of adopted um the project the budgeting initiative stuff right maybe. You might just see the old style play around all chaos, you know, product. So we have um uh we don't really want to go into so much details uh, about what okay. the project feel is. Free feel free to go into detail, we have the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. So um oh, this particular project, right? Um I'm just overseeing it, right? Um I wish um Lamy was on the call, probably she would really talk in detail. Funny thing is I didn't even attend your meeting, but I think you can, I can just pause and you sort of like give, especially for new guys here, a, a rundown of what Ogo project is, right? So maybe they can just relate to it. Yeah, yeah, so I think it's already there. Like Ogo is one of the chaos software, right? Um, And it helps get um, like metrics about open source projects. So I know they've been there have been some like redesigns um, with Orga, but I wasn't following up to this point. And it's great that this work is already going on. I know the it's not like I know the meetings have been happening, but I didn't know that like there are some Chaos Africa people involved. So that's like exciting to me. Yeah. So... Okay, so um like of course you rightly said that, you know, I, I think um we once had a call when you share, I think, some of the designs or what we have currently. And of course, the experience was really awful. So I think this is actually an attempt to improve on what we have, the experience, right? And um quite an interesting project. So also this is also kind of like a call. Um, this is still ongoing, 
it's not complete. So this is also a call to any product designer, UI, UX, right? Um, any other skill, even visual person, I feel like there are things you can offer to improve or areas you can improve on the project. Um, I also like, I wanted to come on board and I also want to, you know, really make a comment too, because um, I, I think it's also because Did you drop? I'm saying it's feeling you. I see you my network. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying it has happened. Hello. Yeah, we can hear. Yeah, you. you yeah, so I, I think, yeah, so the best approach will, will always be um, the best approach will always be, you know, um, once you've identified what you want to do, just kind of like go ahead to it. And then people will kind of like um, maybe the maintainer is just going to check it out. So if you're interested in this, you can reach out to me and then I'm just going to point you to it or link you up with Lamy and then uh, you can jump on that and uh, not just take our time. I think another thing I want to make a call on quickly update is actually on um. Uh, this thing, chaos con um, visual designs, right? We have that ongoing. Um, um, I think um, this person Felix is on the call. We've created a mood board, right? Um, for the creative kind of idea thing and all that. So if you're yeah. a visual designer, we actually need you on this. Chaos con was pretty much amazing last year and some very beautiful designs. So we intend to do more this year. So that's also open for contribution. And of course, um, Afos project, I saw it among stores listed. Um, I'm not sure I can go that. It's, it's probably gonna take time to load my, my name, so it's crazy. So Afos project is, um, Afos project is actually, has been on the pause for some time now. And I, I just strongly believe that reason just being that I think um we've not really been able to sync with uh, um um me me day that's on the design path. I don't really know. I think I saw a comment uh Busayo said something in the course of the week last week. I think the live site was down. So I um I think maybe before Chaos Con, probably the the challenge is just with the dashboard. We don't have the dashboard ready, but I think the, the landing page and other part of the project are ready. So the dashboard where the admin would probably have to review submitted projects and um you know eventually get to you know trying to load up the page, taking time. So um just in summary, okay. Let me see if I can um give me a moment. Network okay, so as you can see, what we have here is um just low fi right? Um, this is not completed. Um, I don't know if Maya is here. I, I know I did kind of like maybe she can take over this, but I don't know if she's still open to do that. So this is so far. Um we've gone with the Afos project, the dashboard, I think it's critical stage of the project right now. So um, that's also very open contribution too. So you can also reach out, you know, via, you can just drop the message on the general Slack, I'll respond to it there. Um, I don't know if you have any other specific questions. So that's the much I have in my head right now. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you for sharing. And yeah, it's, it's like a lot of work that is going on um, in the design group. And thank you so much for leading all that work and to all the people that are also contributing in that regard. Thank you. Catherine, I see you have your hand raised. Um, Did you have a question or did you have a comment? Um, Yes, I did have. Can you hear me? Yeah, you can. Okay. All right. Hi, Ruth. It's um, been a while since. Um, we spoke. Nice to be here again. Um, yeah, I I just wanted to ask um Kingsley about the Afos project. Um, mm -hmm. is it is it a is it a project that is in is in your priority list? Uh, is it something that uh, is high up on your priority list? 
because I wanted to be part of that discussion for the design because I was looking at the at, at the dashboard and how you've worked on it and I I'd like to just understand like your thought process on how we're going to implement it because that would now help on the technical side um, at least when when we finally figure out the technical issues that we currently have we'll know exactly what we are working on um, at least before before at least before more people contribute um, I I to the dashboard yeah yeah just so i know like what your thought process on it how you want to implement it and to just understand like um the your just to understand what you're thinking in terms of the dashboard okay so can i go ahead yes 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 sure Okay, so it's been a while, I think. I'm not sure we've been on the same call for quite some time. So nice to connect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um okay, so I, I know, yeah, of course you've been the main um lead on this project, you know, and all that. I wonder what happened. <laughs> you know, you're not talking about it anymore and we didn't really get to sync. So for now, honestly, I think um I was actually uh, like involved. By involved I mean the design of the I think um the landing page primarily. So most part of other designs are probably from other contributors, right? So in terms of talking about top process, I know we'll discuss about this, but um I think like we established last time, this is just about featuring open source projects in Africa, spotlighting open source projects in Africa, right? And by implication, it means people have to submit their project, right? Submit this open source project, the administrators, right? And um I think we sort of also discussed and agreed uh, that among the design team that maybe we'll just play, play around the whole form for now. The reason just being that I think it's going to take a whole lot to maintain. Talking about the financial aspect of, you know, buying more data space and all that to hold when people, when we try to work with the database, right? So um, we are hoping that we use Google Form, get this information and all that and um, um the admin through the dashboard right can now manually impute this right and of course that will also be displayed on the front end so that was why we decided to introduce the dashboard to the project maybe as time goes on maybe other things will come in but primarily it's just the admin to be able to review and check and probably you know because we are actually man we are manually uploading this project um, except there's any other approach to it, I'm also open to any other opinion. So that's the primary thought process behind the dashboard. Um, so I think like on the I would just post yeah, so I think Catherine. your brain broke up by the towards the end of what you were saying, but I think the I think one of the questions she asked was like the parity, like is this something that um when we have like I'm I'm guessing Catherine yeah. we want to resume like um the development for it because I know that the project started as just like a um a, a an MVP right so like if we want to resume that this is something that the design group can take up and start like I think that was around her question as well like the priority. Okay, so um so to be honest, um it's not on my priority list, but that doesn't mean that um if she wants to come active and start working on we have, like I said, most part of the other like most part of the project right now has been designed by contributors like I think uh, Felix, Maya, Olola D and a couple of other amazing guys. So um but what will happen is probably we could sync um Catherine on one of these design calls and also pull some of the guys that have been working on it, you know, to just come. I, I think uh, at some point some person stopped. Reason just being that uh, we had some contributors that took up the responsibility of some aspect and then um sort of like Wednesday my on us. So and uh, that has to be reassigned, right? So that we get the uh, people are available to work on it so um 
So yes, we can get all that. I don't want the comments, my initial comment to probably um change your mind on the fact maybe you're open to working on it right now. So but I can get we can sync on a design call that will happen next week Wednesday. We if you're free or we can work on the time that you know works better for you. Probably have a more detailed discussion and get people involved with some of the designers I hear. Right, because there are oh, a couple well, of other yeah. projects too we didn't care as the sorry. You said there were some names you called, I didn't get it. Right? Yeah, Felix, Felix, I think Felix is here. Um Maya, I don't know if Maya is here. Um we have uh Olola yes. de Daniel. Okay, okay Olola I think what we can do is this, right? Um, you both can sing and put like with the designers working on it, or just she joining the next design group, and then you guys can like talk about, um, how how the project is going, what the plan is, and every other thing too, um, because if as regards, I think there was a time you mentioned like um, if if there is there something we need to pay for. I think you can just make that request known to me, right? So because the, the project was funded, so we still have like funding for it, some funds for it, so to to handle development costs and every other thing, every other like payments we need to make. So yep. Um so um, definitely yeah. Uh Ruth, just a question related to the project. Um okay. I remember in the last meeting that we had for for the co-pilot project, uh, I think it was mentioned that we we are not allowed yet to talk about it publicly. Um, is this is that still? For the, yeah, on? for the for the project, right? I I have to confirm that, but right now I don't think it's it's still valid that we can't talk about it publicly. The website is out there, so it's something we can talk yeah. about publicly. But before we talk about it publicly, it would be great to have a way that people can at least apply to be uh -huh. to join it, right? Or to submit. We can in the in the in the meantime, we can even use Google um GitHub issues to at least start that process. But I think we can discuss this further later. But yeah, we can start doing that right now, honestly. Okay. All right. The reason why I was asking is There's because question, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, is because I'm trying to see how we can get most of this work done, and I've noticed when when you run it, um, like a mini program within like the overall chaos program, um, people will kind of get interested, and then they come and do like a lot of contribution in a short yeah. period of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so <laughs> that's yeah, what that's I was the... thinking because, yeah. That's true. Even the way we ran the first one, it shows how much like it just went up because it was like more of like a a program or it was more of like a very fast paced project. So I think that can work. We are looking for ways to even engage contributors. So if you have ideas around that, it can work. Yeah. Um, and then I think there's a message from Harmony on the group, like a document. I know you have like a whole like the whole document. Maybe you could add it to the notes or send it to the chats. Um, and another thing is also being part of the developer group as well, so that those conversations can go on there, can also help that. So if maybe you can send this um document to the chat or add it to the notes. Yep. Okay. Um, All right. I'll 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 talk to you on WhatsApp if you don't mind. Um. Once yeah. I, sure. Once I can find my thoughts on how to run it. Yeah. No worries. That's fine. Um. In any progress. Questions? Okay. Um. So I'll go to developer group. Um. I was going to ask. I think I think I still here. Um. Have you been checking on like the projects? Bad, like the issues on um, the budget project and kind of just moving into the second topic like how do we set because I know one of the issues we've been having is kind of people um taking up issues and not fixing them you know just there so how do we kind of set up guidelines to help people 
like contribute better and they know that within this number of period if i don't contribute to this thing um i it can be reassigned to people but what's been going on around the badging projects um i know there are some prs that have been merged um and just to even notify people that are looking to work out on work on things they are open there i think there are some open issues here as well that you can pick up but yeah i'll let adinka uh answer okay hi everyone hi ruth good to see oh. you again thank you can you hear me as well okay yeah. i can see by the old smile that you can hear me okay cool so like you rightly said in fact, one of the issues that um we had this week, I have been in conversation with Enoch, is that we have a lot of um, our contributors, especially those sitting on the budget API. Some of um, the issues are being worked on and they are not being fixed. Right? Somebody has been assigned to them and did not fix them for like over a month now. So um that is not acting as a blocker for some of the um, PRs that has been created, especially on the front end side. So yes, it mm. is very important now. Yes, it is important now for us to like set up um, guidelines, like you said, and that's what I plan to work on um, next week. So two things, I noticed that we need to sort that out, probably give them um, ultimatum probably two three weeks and um just put it in our computing process. You said I think two weeks for is instance, fine. Yeah for instance the um Apple's um cover I don't think it should take more than um it shouldn't be more than 30 minutes to fix right so um some of these issues don't really I, I understand that we are we are volunteers, which is why I'm kind of um a bit uh I'm caught in between trying to drill down on people to say please finish this thing on time and then um trying to give them time because it's also a volunteer work. So but if it's rightly stated in in um on the contributing the MD that after three weeks or two weeks it should be reassigned, then it's clear for everyone. So um, that said, we will see that we set that up um, before before the end of next week. The second thing that I noticed is that um, I think that because we do not have a template for creating issues and also for creating PRs, there were a lot of issues that were created and also PRs that were created that didn't have any explanation. So me coming in to review, I was a bit confused. In fact, I had to leave it to go talk to him up to say these things I don't actually understand. Where's the where's the PR coming from? On what context is this based and all that? So it's very important for us to create um, an initial template to guide um new contributors on how to create issues. It was a very explanatory it, it, possible provide an image so that anybody coming in could actually understand what the issue is about and be able to solve it. Because I see a lot of questions on on um, GitHub Reco. Um, what does this mean? How should I go about it? Um, Enoch, please explain. I see a lot of people calling Enoch <laughs> and I so much feel for Enoch right now. So if you can have a well explained um, if we don't if we if we have a well explained issue and the well explained PR, then another person can do that on behalf of him. So that's okay, the yeah. second thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please go ahead. Oh no, no, I was just going to say, yeah, those those documents are important. Like the I think I um I mentioned it one time, but um are you yeah. going to take the action item to create them or yes. okay. so I'm committing to doing that and that should be ready. Um, let me say latest by Tuesday because it is very um important and urgent for us to implement that. What took so long was because um if you if you look at the chat session, somebody is asking for a document on half us that mm -hmm. kind of documents um the progress of half us 
so that new contributors can know how they can come in. I think that's the problem we have um, for Project Bargem. No documents, and so people are coming in blindly, and that's why it's taking so much time. I, I, I actually took time to sit down with the GitHub repo and even the website just to understand the flow. And I'm mm -hmm. still trying to offer them. Yes. So I'm looking forward to a time that some of us who are getting um, acquainted with the web website could actually create a document that helps the newcomer come in and they get started on the project um, as soon as they can. So before Tuesday, we will have the issue centers and the, the trial centers. The third thing, um, please could you, could you let me, could you um, share your screen so that I can see the other yeah, question? Yeah, I think I'm sharing my screen. I ain't not seeing it. Oh. Oh, sorry. Um, you're on the record now. I'm talking about the Google. Sorry, the, the notes. What, what, what do you want me to yes. show? Yes. Okay, so you were asking, you want us to show people what the new issues that are hosting. So the problem I have right now is I might not be able to tell people what to contribute to because the end points they need to even make their contributions work has not yet been um, completed. So until we finish that particular contribution, that's when we can then tell people to go ahead and finish the other issues. If you get what I mean. Yeah. Okay. I think Harmony wants to also help. Maybe you reach out to Adink as well help document some of these things and just like maybe um, i see catherine you're adding the the prd to or i think that's i don't know who's adding that maybe we can have a document on the repo itself that kind of describes that process or what's what's the hope of the project is um if we can add that um, but yeah these things you said are valid um and let's see how we can them maybe in um I think Harmony, you can reach out to Adinka as well to help in that regard. So yeah, thank you. I um I think one other thing. I don't know, Desmond is not here. I think he's the one or oh, Catherine, do you know what's up with the server setup or something? Is Catherine still here? I'm not sure Catherine um knows about it, so but I'm working on this one. Um, oh yeah, are you the one working with this one? This month. I'm working with this month. I, I'm going to sit on his neck. That's what I need <laughs> so that he can actually complete it. Oh, okay. Um, I'd asked, I'd, uh, I'd asked, I think, Desmond. Yeah. I'd asked him, I'd talked to Casada and Desmond, and they said they were going to work on it. So I don't know what's the status. Peculiar. I don't know if you can help with that because ah, it's an issue that's taken. A long time. <laughs> um, I don't know what 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 have you have you spoken to Casada? Have you spoken? Uh, have you spoken to Enoch and or? Uh, I don't even know what to say. It's Hello, Catherine. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. And the seven hills. Yes, I can hear you. I'm here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was asking. I think Catherine was asking a question about I think Enoch. Enoch is. Yes. So so Enoch has provided everything he can need to set up the server. Um. So what I will do is to reach out to this one and see how he can be helped. I think he's kind of swamped up with work right now. So if he can't um. Maybe configure the server by probably tomorrow or Saturday. Maybe somebody else can take that for you. So that you can concentrate on other things. Okay. So maybe by next the next meeting we should have that figured out, right? Because like that's been like it's it's been like pointing people to the to the project has been a pain because that is not uh it's not the, the website is down so that's one of the big issues we have so how can we maybe like when can this be solved like is there a timeline that we're looking at yeah. 
can I make yeah. is someone yeah. talking? I wanted to make an addition to something. Um, so I added some documents to um to the, the meeting notes, but I also want to point out that um so I, I think it was Harmony, right, that asked. So um yeah, you can go to the document and then um still get back to me. I'm hoping to that, you know that document will be updated soon because some of the things we've worked on hasn't been updated. And also some of the initial thought process behind the project, we had to review um, review them based on priority and then what was achievable. So, um, but I think that, for example, the brief is just going to give you an overview of what we're working on and um, the different um screens right that we have on Figma at the moment then i believe you know maybe in the course of the week that will be updated yeah thank you okay um no problem uh let's see how we can um get like that at least the website running back on so i think i think you give us uh feedback next meeting right like the has the developer meeting been going on like is it something that has been going on as well mm -hmm. so um we have yes we've been having it we had one um last week um that was where more first introduced ourselves and then we had another one to week ago okay we are we are getting into the regions so okay, that's great. Have yeah. All right. Okay, makes sense. Um, so yeah, if you if you're interested in contributing to you know their developments, you can reach out to I think. Uh, you can also join their meetings as well. Um, there's also a channel like an async channel that you can um communicate through. It's hash chaos Africa dash dev so. Yeah, so let's see how we can get things moving and well done at the encounter the work that you're doing as well. Um any questions or any thoughts or feedback? No, okay. So um if, for people that are looking to also contribute in other non-code ways, um we have a project called event badging and there'll be like an orientation for people that want to badge events, right? So it's just reviewing an application and kind of like ticking a list. So that's the easy very it's not um a high effort contribution. So if you're looking to make um if you're looking to make um non-code contributions, there are two Bad orientations that are happening, but Elizabeth is facilitating this on on 26th of March and on April 2nd. There are, I'm supposed to add the links to this so that you can add them to your calendar if you're interested. I'm just going to grab the link very quickly um, and put it on the doc. Sorry. Uh, here, I mistakenly did not add the link. The link. So if you're interested, I'm adding the links to add it to your calendar. So you can join those orientation meetings. That's also another way to start contributing and um understand what's going on in the Chaos project. Um, so you can check that out. So I don't know if there are any questions around that as well. Any questions or any feedback? Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. So these are the links. The links are here. If you click on this, you can add them to your calendar. Um, any questions? No. Going, gone. Okay. Um, so Pike, the next agenda item I was in Python Namibia last week. Or last was it last two weeks or last week? I don't remember anymore. But yeah, I think it was last week. Um, yeah, so it was, it was a good conference, um, you know, we had, I had a session about chaos and open source. I wanted to do a session about, um, chaos, but I got a lot of 
secondary school, secondary school students in my session. So I just talked about open source. We shared swags, um, which was interesting. Um, and what else? What other updates do I have? Um, yeah. So that conference went well. Um, and that's the update there. Um, I don't know if these two groups have any updates, accessibility group, are there any updates on your end for us or disability working group? Uh, Brian? Yeah, yeah. I think we have updates on the disability mainstreaming group. Mm -hmm. So we reached out to, I think in the last meeting, we had said that we'll reach out to Project Enable to see if we can have a partnership with them. So we reached out to them with our availabilities for the meetings, but uh, Victoria is the one in talks to them and they share, they haven't responded yet. So we hope they respond before this week end so that by the next time you're having this meeting, we can update you on the same. I don't know, I think Victoria is in the call. Have they reached out yet? Not yet. Oh, okay. Okay, sure. So I think we'll have more updates, but we are still working with the date of the first Saturday of May. And uh, we are planning to to work with we are planning to also do more publicity about that. Probably at the we are we are working with the with Oluchi. I was supposed to send a proposal so that maybe if we manage to go to WTM Women Tech Makers Abuja event that will be happening on the 27th of April. We can also share more about that outreach. And if someone has maybe a person with disability that does tech, they can also be part of us. But more of that, we will we will share more about this probably once we've already shared the proposal with Women Tech Makers Lagos, sorry, not Abuja. <laughs> So yeah, I think those are the updates, but we also, oh, another update is we had a, we have a new member in our group that's Peculiar and she is really helping the group. Shout out to Peculiar, Winnie and Victoria. They're really doing an amazing job. So yeah, I think those are the updates from the disability mainstreaming team. Yeah, Um. could you also like, just for other people that are in this meeting that don't know what that is, could you also like just give a quick summary of like what the group is about and what's, you guys are trying to like also achieve. Okay. Okay, sure. So this group is more of our focus is more of persons with disabilities. We are trying to see how we can have folks who have different disabilities participate actively in open source and also maybe understand what's hindering them from participating in open source. We want to see more of those folks participate in different projects at both Chaos Africa and maybe Chaos Project. So we thought of doing several activities, but for the first quarter or our first, the first activity that we are planning, we are planning to do an outreach to these folks. So we want to go to them, we want to hear from them and maybe see what uh, what are the challenges that they face and how as Chaos Africa, we can make them more inclusive. Also, one of the folks who we are working together in this group attended ChaosCon and Oscar Fest last year. And he shared with us that, she shared with us, sorry, that the experience was not that good at both of the conferences. So we are also trying to see how in the upcoming ChaosCon Africa and and um, maybe Oscar Fest, how we can have more persons with disabilities feel more included and feel more comfortable at those events. So how we are planning to do this is after this first outreach, we will probably do more of like a report or an article. We are still trying to see how we're going to publish our, our findings and maybe how we can help other communities also include persons with disabilities in their communities. But if this is something that interests you, feel free to reach out to me on Slack. And also we are currently trying to reach out to persons with disabilities in the tech space. So if you have any referrals of anyone you know, in Lagos, in Abuja, or anywhere in Nigeria, or even here in Kenya, feel free to, to ping me and maybe we can start a conversation with them. Also for folks who maybe are in Kenya, I will be at the WTM event happening this weekend. So you can catch up with me there. I'll also be talking about open source. So feel free to catch up with me and maybe ask me any questions about the same. I think 
that's like a brief overview of everything. I know it was rushed yeah, because of the. Yeah, it's fine. Thank you so much. Well done to all the work that you guys are doing. Um, yeah, so if anybody's interested in also contributing to that, it's very interesting project. And I hope that, that outreach happens. Um, I know we are short of time, but I wanted to thank you for even bringing up that Women Tech Meters event in Kenya because um, I know I have not had time to talk with you about it. And Oluchi has been the one kind of like talking with you. So... Um, I'm going to push it to this last agenda item for the International Women's Day celebration. So this year, and yeah, Happy Women's Day, Happy Women's Month to every woman here. Um, I didn't get to do that, but um, we did like a the Twitter post, uh, which was I think we uh, were able to highlight um some women that have been contributing to chaos, and if you were not highlighted, their apologies as well. Um. Um, but yeah, we recognize you and we celebrate you. Another thing we wanted to do was also participate in other women groups. And Brian had talked about this sometime. Um, so the question I have for you, Brian, and then I'm going to bring you up again, is how can we, how do you think we can participate? I know this is really last minute. Um, how can we participate? Like what do what do they need, right? What can we help with? Um swags, is it cupcakes or something? Like what do they need? How can we help? And yeah, like I'm open to knowing what way in what capacity we can help. Are you already going there to talk? So I'm definitely um thinking you'll talk about chaos as well. So what things do you need um from us and what do you think they would need as well for that event? So we get to partner with them. It would be great to have a, some sort of partnership, if that makes sense. Um, since that'll be the only event we'll be doing, because like the other one we wanted to do one in Lagos where we go to like there was the idea to go to a, a secondary school, but I think that is not going to happen because they are currently on break. So we can move that to next day and better plan for it. So yeah, maybe if you could share that in some minutes and we can talk better later. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm, I already have like a slot to talk about open source from the organizers. So maybe I think what we can do is swags and um, probably also maybe sponsorship but i don't know how that can work i'll reach out to the team and maybe ping you up but i think more of what you can do is just swags and since i already have like a few github swags here if maybe kill swag is not able to reach on time i can just use the github swag i have i have like a few cheat sheets some activity books and a t-shirt and mona fingerings so I should be able to use that, but if maybe we need specific kills, I also have a kills t-shirt, so I can have that on. <laughs> I don't know if, <laughs> I know it's, it's like a one week notice, so maybe the swag won't be able to arrive on time, but I can pull strings on my yeah. end here in Kenya. Let's see, I don't know, we can chat about if there's like a, I know how we did it for Angola, I was like we had it printed there, so we did not send them was printed there and I just paid for that we just paid for that so let's see if we can work that out if not we can use uh, we can prepare better for the next time or if it's just sponsoring like cupcakes or drinks just let me know um but we'll not be able to commit with like big amounts of money but like we can use the participate as well we can discuss better or you can get back to me so okay. yeah and any questions about this or any thoughts? We have like a few more minutes. Okie dokie. Going. Okay. Um, thank you everybody for being in this meeting. I've missed you all and happy to see your faces, even though I did not see your faces. But I'm happy, I'm so happy um uh, if you have any questions any confusions anything at all you can always um, put it on the channel you can always reach out as well um or any ideas please do reach out and we'll see you all next two weeks and keep contributing to open source so bye bye everyone bye, bye.